Tiger Arena tonight. We have our starting lineups. If we could, let's have a moment of silence. All about the playing for our national anthem. Three-point basket for number 14, Jack.
Passing by number 12, River Ospina.
Okay, we join you here to start the second quarter. A uh, little late start on the commentary with the game change. Uh, got a little bit of a <laughs> confusion, but I'm with you. This is Lynn Gregson, and my normal part tonight, Derek Dugan, unable to make it. So, uh, gonna have a new part tonight. McKay Gregson's gonna sit here with me. My son, he's gonna be my partner tonight. McKay, good start right now for Prairie Grove. All tied up at 14, huh? Gavin Heltimus with the ball. And now Sainer. Boy, the big man takes it on strong to the hole, and Dylan Sainer takes it in. That's going to be eight points now for Dylan. And a foul, so he goes to the free throw line with a chance for the old fashioned three. Sainer releases it. It's going to be the front of the rim, and the Tigers are going to get the rebound. Nice hustle that time by. Coy Sigmund keep it alive. And there's Heltimus off the rim. There's Sainer goes back up strong. No good. And Sainer's going to get the foul on this one, I believe. A little bit of frustration by Dylan. A good strong move that time. He went strong to the hole, didn't he? Three-pointer, no good. Rebound goes to – oh, it went to – D.J. Pearson is taken away by Gosfener. Cross-court pass. Gosfener with the ball. Three-pointer on the way by Bohannon. No good. Sainer comes down with the rebound. Here comes D.J. Pearson. Gavin, Gavin drives, kicks it out to Disney. Disney thought about the shot. And there's Sigmund, bottom, there we go, three-pointer. And Coy Sigmund knocks it down, gives the Tigers a five-point lead. Are you surprised tonight that the Tigers are leading by five, McKay? They're a lot better than we were last night. Yeah, they're playing much better than uh, last night. And, Huntsville, here comes Gosswinner, pull up, nice little jumper, going to be short. Dylan, I think Dylan's hand up there really changed the, the shot that time, McKay. Mm -hmm. Boy, they're pressuring the sophomore. He gets it to Sainer, kicks it out. There's Disney, he drives. Oh, it's knocked away by Bohannon. Tigers will retain possession. Well, Tigers are going to take a timeout. With that timeout, McKay, Huntsville comes into the game undefeated okay. in the conference. Prairie Grove with one loss, trying to make up some conference games. Uh, boy, it'd be a big win if the Tigers come up with it tonight, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be a very big win for our boys. Well, the Tigers up 19 to 14, 558 to go here in the first half. Nineteen fourteen, Tigers are leading. Coming out of a timeout. And McKay, Huntsville, always a good team, aren't they? Yes, always a good team. Always are really good at shooting from the outside. And here is Heltimus. He's going to get it out to Sigmund. Now into Sainer. Sainer turns. He's going strong again. And this time he's going to get it knocked away. I think, I think he wanted to foul that time. A little bit of contact there. It was a little contact, no foul called, and now the Eagles on the attack. There's Bohannon with the ball, he kicks it out. Here comes Gosfener, and he's got it again. Pemberton with a shot, no good. Sander gets the rebound. 5-18 to go here in the first half. Heltimus gets it across the half-court line. There's Disney. Oh, boy, there's Sigmund looking low down there for him. Mm. We haven't seen a lot of him this year no, yet. No, we haven't. 
He nice pass inside to Sainer. He's going to get the foul. Now Sainer go to the line. Tigers leading by five. I think 20 for uh, Perry Grove played for a little bit. He's played a little. That's yeah. right. And uh, that is uh, Coy Sigmund. And Sigmund, nice pass into Sainer. It was a difficult pass, but gets it to him. Sainer with the first free throw. No good. Boy, we struggled from the line last night. Yeah, we did. What, what did we go from the line last night? It's like three out of something. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it was tough going from the free throw line last night. And we missed both of these. So, boy, the free throw troubles continue <laughs> tonight. Wow, there's a air ball that time by Gosfiner, and Tigers bring it down. Trying to work it inside. And Dylan wants it inside, I should say. There's DJ Strong. He's got it. Oh, a nice pick, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds by the Eagles, so the Tigers will retain possession. 19-14, 4.25 to go here in the first half. And kicks it way out to DJ Strong, who's got it. Sigmund thought about it. And now Sainer asks him to clear it out. He gets it to Disney. Disney with the three. No good. Rebound goes to Pemberton. And now here come the Eagles. And they trying to get down there before the defense can set up. Shot, no good, and the Eagles are off tonight. They, we, since we've been here, McKay, they've missed yeah. quite a few shots. Yeah, they've been missing a lot of baskets, so. Need to get away. Who okay. called timeout? Who's trying to call timeout? He was, he, was, he was trying to call a timeout. And they didn't call it. Coach Ed was wanting a timeout, screaming, begging, just anything he could to get the timeout. No one heard him and uh, <laughs> caused the turnover there. The Tigers, wow. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And the Tigers get the ball back. So, although the, after all of that, nothing really transpired. But, boy, Coach Coach Edmondson was just screaming. We Everybody in the gym could hear him but the refs. And now DJ Strong over in the corner gets it out of there. And now Sigmund driving, driving, pushing. And the ball's touch should be. Yeah, the ball was touched there by number 12, Gossbener. So the Tigers going to have it, 255. McKay, good start for the Tigers here in the first half, leading 19-14. Wow, that was dangerous, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Dude, there's Nick Ellis working hard inside trying to get the ball. Oh, there you go. He's going to get a walk oh, that time. Yep. yep. I think he took the extra step that time. Yeah, he took a little bit of an a little bit of an extra <laughs> step that time. Going to be down to two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Tigers still lead 19-14. Looks like Sainer's going to check back in for the Tigers. Nice defense this time by the Tigers. Oh, and just to say that, it's a nice pace. Let me get his layup. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he got that little step on Strong, was able to get by him, and now with two minutes to go, Tigers leading 19-16. Hey, Cooper is going to come in. Yeah, it's like DeMarcus Cooper. There's three-pointer, no good by Disney, and now the rebound comes down to Pemberton. Here oh. comes Gossner for the Eagles. 140 to go in the first half. 
nice cut that Nose is all the way uh -oh. wide open three. And it's no good and cleared out there by the Tigers. Now we got a minute and a half. I think number 12 for Huntsville, he, he takes a lot of threes, so. Yeah, he's, he's taken a lot. He's made, he's made one since we've been here, but uh, has missed the last couple. Boy, he's trying to get it inside to Ellis. Kicks it out. There comes Heltzman down the baseline. He's blocked, and he keeps it alive. Good hustle that time, even though and now gets it to D.J. Strong. Hmm. Wow, man. Wow, we're going to get a foul there. It's only the fourth or the fifth team foul, so no free throw. DeMarcus Cooper comes in for Coy Sigmund. Get, got some good minutes out of mm -hmm. Sigmund tonight. And now there's Disney. Can he get a good shot off? He does. It's up and in. Disney. Isaac Disney gets his fourth point of the night. And now it's up by five. 21, 16, 45 seconds to go here in the first half. There's Eaton driving baseline. He's picked up by Coop. I now another. Here we go. Turnover. Disney takes it to the hole. Lays it up. No good. DeMarcus Cooper is going to go off of Coop. Coach Ed, very frustrated with that, wants to get that easy basket. I think last year when we played Huntsville, we, there were a lot of close games against Huntsville too. Yeah, absolutely, and, and I'll tell you, right there, we could have pulled up by seven, and now the, instead of going up by seven, they're probably going to take the last shot here. And we're down to 14, 13, now down to 10 seconds. Here comes Gossner and Get him, get him. There and you go. And now with seven seconds, we, we might get one more shot. Disney trying to see if he can pull up three. No good. DJ Strong at the oh. hole. Most. Well, after one half of play, McKay, the score, Prairie Grove 21, Huntsville 16. I like, I like the fast start here for the Tigers. Absolutely. We're going to take a halftime break. We'll be back uh, about eight minutes for the second half. PG Telco is a proud sponsor of PGTigersOnline.com where you can find out all the very latest of what's going on with all the sports teams right here in Prairie Grove. But PG Telco is more, a lot more. They offer phone, internet, long distance services, and bundles making it all affordable. And that includes Direct TV. For your home or office, staying connected to the fast-paced world is as easy as calling PG Telco. Call 846-7200. That's 846-7200. PG Telco, built on community, focused on progress. Chevrolet, proud sponsors of Prairie Grove High School Athletics and also proud of their huge inventory, both new or used. You'll find what you're looking for at Everett Chevrolet. Are you looking for the most dependable, longest lasting full size truck on the road? You're looking for the Chevy Silverado and they've got them. How about the Chevy Camaro? How about the Chevy Corvette? It's all waiting for you at Everett Chevrolet. Family owned and customer friendly. Everett Chevrolet. I-49 at Elm Springs Road. Everett Chevrolet says Go Tigers! Tired of dealing with your worn out roof? Are you in need of professional help? The answer is Pickett Construction. Call Pickett Construction today to schedule an appointment with one of our professionals. From start to finish, our crews provide quality craftsmanship and service on everything from residential to commercial construction from the ground up, including roofing, fencing, concrete, remodels, additions, and more. Call Pickett Construction today at 973-5109. And remember, you pick it, we'll build it. 
Let's talk about life and stuff. Let's face it. The wife has her stuff. The kids have their stuff. And you have your stuff. And in order to be fair, we have to say that everybody's stuff is equal in value. And let's also be honest. There's a huge difference in stuff and junk. So for your stuff, call PG Storage. They have a variety of storage spaces in different sizes. They can handle your stuff. PG Storage, conveniently located just off of the 62 bypass. Call them at 846-0707. That's 846 846- 4-6-0-7-0-7. PG Storage, home for your stuff. Zing. Is it the work of a rocket scientist from NASA? Is it artificial intelligence from a distant planet? Zing is the new internet broadband service from PG Telco with speeds up to 50 megabits per second. No data caps and an online security feature that makes daily digital activity safe and reliable. Your internet used to be high speed. Now it's more like intergalactic. Zing delivers the experience of digital connections in remarkable ways and it's ready to help you in takeoff. All you got to do is call PG Telco 846-7200. That's 846-7200. The sky's the limit with My Blue Checking from Arvest Bank. With My Blue, you'll sleep better at night knowing your checking account helps safeguard you and your family against identity theft. Covering all types of identity fraud events, financial or otherwise, anywhere in the world. You'll be able to deposit a check to MyBlue just by using your smartphone. And you'll have the freedom of more branches and more hours. Have higher expectations about banking? Make the switch to MyBlue Checking, only from Arvest Bank. Love God, love others, serve others. The simple motto of Prairie Grove Christian Church. Whether supporting missionaries in Japan, in Africa, doing mission work in Cambodia and Haiti, or building homes in Texas, or fun for the entire family with upward basketball and cheerleading, you'll find our members seeking to show love for God through love for our neighbors. If you are looking for a church home, we invite you to experience PGCC firsthand. We have convenient service times on Sundays at 9 and 10.30 a.m. And we have exciting ministries for your children and teens. Prairie Grove Christian Church, serving Western Washington County and beyond. Love God, love others, serve others. Prairie Grove Christian Church.
Okay, we're back with you. And McKay, as uh, tonight, as you look at uh, what the Tigers have done tonight versus last night, what do you see us doing better tonight than last night? Uh, last night, they, P. Ridge was making a lot of threes at the end of the, the fourth quarter. Uh, P. Ridge, uh, one of their players went to the basket and just drove right in. Yeah, and tonight, uh, it looks like, you know, Huntsville struggled a little bit from outside, but the Tigers have hit a couple of baskets and have also got some good inside shots as well. Well, we're ready to start the second half, 21-16, and here come the Eagles to start the second half. Here comes Gosfener, pulls up. Sainer alters his shot a little, and Heltimus comes down with a rebound. Boy, that was a little fancy, but a little dangerous, but we get the ball. And now here comes DJ Strong. Strong driving, kicks it out to Heltimus. There's Disney looking inside. There was Ellis for just a moment. Disney trying to get in there, kicks it out. There's Heltimus for three. No good, rebound goes to Pemberton, and the Eagles are on the attack again. One minute's gone by here in the third quarter. Tigers lead in 21-16. Boy, Zaner's a big presence inside and caused him really not to get an easy basket that time. Shot by Yarbrough off the front of the rim. Good hustle that time by Gosvener, and he's going to get the ball back. Boy, that was a nice hustle. He's able to get the – and now gives it up to Yarbrough. Yarbrough lays it up and in. So Gosvener really, he got the rebound and the assist that time. Closes the Prairie Grove lead down to three. 6.15 to go here in the third quarter. Tigers leading 21-18. Sainer looks inside for Ellis. Nothing there. Now Ellis with the ball, and he's covered up by Yarbrough. Gets inside Sainer. Was hoping for a foul, doesn't get it. And this time he goes back up, puts it in, gets the foul. Now we got to make the free throw. Tigers leading 23-18, 5.45 to go here in the third. Sainer now with 10 points in the game. He leads all scores. And can he knock down this free throw? Free throw on the way. Doesn't roll in for him. And he's missed his last three free throws, 23-18. There's Bohannon, no good. Rebound goes to Sainer. Now Strong going to bring it down for the Tigers. Chance to go up by seven. 23-18. Now Sainer cross court. There's Disney. Disney drives. Pulls up. Little jumper. No good. Gets his own rebound. Goes up. Now stolen by Bohannon. Pemberton. He gets it back to Eaton. And there's Bohannon to Gosfener. They're moving the ball around really well. Gosfener trying to force the action a little bit. Huntsville being very patient this time down the court. It was a good pass, and then he has to kick it back out. Three-pointer, and there is Bohannon. He knocks down the three. And now Ty Bohannon closes the gap. Just a two-point game, exactly right, 23-21. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the third. Feeds it inside and off of the hand. Wow, we got a break there. It's going to go to the Tigers. 
I thought it went off of Dillon, but it looks like it's going to go off of, oh, they call a foul on Eaton. So we get a break there. because, And now here's Nick Ellis goes up. No shot. They're going to call on the floor. And a second quick foul. That foul is going to be called on Kenton Yarborough. And now gets it to Strong, kicks it out to Disney. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Tigers still up by two. Wow. So Nick Ellis is going to get called for a push. That's Ellis' second foul. That's the team's first foul in this half. Huntsville has three team fouls. 3.50 to go. Eagles trying to tie it up. Kicks it out. Shot on the way. No good. Boy, the hustle of Gosvener is impressive. Tigers need to be patient and get the good shot. Up by two still. 3.15 to go here in the third quarter. Oh, I think that may have gone off Coach Ed's back. Yep. <laughs> Saner, 15-footer, no good. Rebound. Whoa, Saner. Uh, and if you're a Huntsville fan, you're wanting a foul there. And foul on that. Yep. 2.50 to go here in the third. Tigers still up 23-21. Shot on the way, and we're all tied up as Jackie puts it down. Low-scoring game. It's a, it's a low-scoring game. Tigers only got one basket since halftime. They were leading 21-16 at half. Now it's all tied up at 23. Been outscored 7-2 here in the third quarter. Here's Heltimus for three, no good. And rebound goes to Jack Eaton. And the Tigers have gone cold from the outside. And looking for the foul was Gosfriner, didn't get it. Bohannon, nice hustle. Good job that time. You gotta give it to River Gosfriner. Tonight. Huntsville now leading 25-23. It's their first lead since the first quarter. Well, he got a walk. And boy, here we go. Here comes DeMarcus Cooper and Dear J. Pearson also coming in. 142. Tigers been outscored 8-2 in this quarter, McKay. Now here comes Anthony Johnson and also Darby Rush. So Got four new players in along with Saner. A minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. As you mentioned, McKay, it's been a low scoring game. Here's a three pointer off the back of the rim. DJ Pearson with the rebound. And now the Tigers. DJ's pushing the action, no good. And now Gosfiner pulls up jumper and it's good. And he's really been, he hasn't scored all the points, McKay, but his hustle's really been impressive. Yes. Now 27-23. Anthony Johnson, no good. And the Tigers have tried to go to the hole the last two times down the court. Driving just hadn't been able to convert. Here comes Eaton. Eaton walked, but no call. And now here comes Johnson. Anthony Johnson with the ball. We're down to 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's the Marcus Cooper. He's got to be careful. He's going to get called for 
There, turn around, jumper by Coop. And off the backboard goes up and in. Demarcus Cooper makes it 27-25. We're down to six seconds. He's going to take a shot. It's inside the three-pointer. No good. Sainer. <laughs> the big man. The big man turned and threw it almost the length of the court. Well, McKay, we're down to one quarter. The Tigers lost that quarter 10. Let's see. I get, oh, actually, it was 12 to 4, because it or 11 to 4. It was 21 16 and a half. 21 16, yeah. So it's 27 uh, 25 now. McKay, who's impressed you so far tonight from Huntsville? Uh, number 12, for sure. Yeah, River River Gosfener, and he's been – he's really – his hustle has been very impressive. There's a fox out down there and trying to grab the rebound, and he went back up. Yeah, he, you know, a couple of times there, he just – he really just out-hustled the Prairie Grove uh, – the Prairie Grove team a couple of times, able to get the rebound. And now with eight minutes to go, four quarter, I should say, Tigers trail 27-25. Well, McKay, you mentioned that, uh, you know, we were driving today that Prairie Grove, the boys yet to win in the new gym. Of course, the football players played their first game in the gym last night against P. Ridge and then had a tall order having to play Huntsville back-to-back. -back. And Huntsville, we should be gracious for them for, you know, you know, uh, postponing this game. till Yep, they rescheduled and it was a help. and Maybe we'll still be able to pull out a victory. Sigmund's back into the game, and he was a spark plug a little bit for the Tigers earlier. Whoa. Wow, he got away oh, with it. <laughs> he got away with it that time. Tigers just taking their time. This is allowing Dylan Sainer a little bit of rest to go down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Boy Strong was open in the corner there for a moment, trying to get it to Sigmund. And now here comes Sigmund, goes up strong. He's going to get fouled. So now the Tigers with a chance to tie the game with 7.18 to go in the game. Sigmund off the front of the rim. So the Tigers have missed their last four free throws. And just like last night, McKay, we struggled from the line. We struggled a lot from the line last night. And struggling again this evening. Sigmund makes the second one. So it's 27-26. 7-15 to go in the ball game. There's Pemberton. There's Gosfner again. Boy, nice little move. That one's going to go in. He tried to fall down and get him a little bit of a three or a, a three-point play, a foul, but no foul call. Tigers trailing by three. 6.50 to go in the ball game. Has 10 points. Gosfiner with 10 for the Eagles. Here comes Disney. He's going to get blocked. Boy, he's looking for a foul. Didn't get it called. And a nice dribble that time by Eaton. And now Pemberton with the ball looking inside. Here's Gosfiner. He's been the kind of the man making things happen for the Eagles. Sigmund's going to be called. I guess he was just kind of kneeing uh, the player in front of him is what the referee called. 6.25 to go. Yarbrough or Bohannon with the ball out front. Now Pemberton, he's picked up by Ellis. Eaton guarded by Disney. Bohannon going against Strong. Here's a pull up. And there it is, Bohannon. Gets the three, and now he stretches it. Oh, they're going to call it a two. They're going to call it a two. 26-31, five-point lead. Sainer getting ready to come back in the game. Ellis goes up strong and can't make it, but he gets a rebound. Puts it up, can't get it. Here's Sigmund. He goes up. He still can't get it, but he's going to get fouled. Wow. 
Good hustle. Tigers got several chances that time. They battled inside for sure. 36, 36, 31-26, 544 to go in the game. Sigmund, we got to have these, bud. Goes off the front of the rim. Boy, we have... Needs to knock this one down. And this one's going to go no good as well. So, wow. Tigers one of six in their last free throws. And that five points is the difference in the game right now. And a nice move, going to go to Heltimus. Oh, he had Disney for a moment. Didn't see him. Strong pulls up, shot, no good. Sigmund goes over the back, comes down hard. Thirty-one twenty-six, five oh five to go in the game. Tigers need a stop and a basket to kind of slow down the momentum. Nice pass. That's a walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Going to give a shout-out to the Nacho man, Alex Henry. He's watching from home tonight, usually here helping us out producing, but not tonight. Alex, glad you're watching. And here's a three-pointer on the way. Going to be short, goes to Saner. Boy, they've missed the last few times down. We need to capitalize, McKay, mm -hmm. and get a basket. Get need close. to get it over. We're going to get a 10-second call if we're not careful. Four twenty to go in the ball game. Tigers trailing by five. Trying to get it inside of Sainter. They're really collapsing. Here goes Disney. He's going to go strong. Not going to make it. Four minutes to go in the game. Here's Eaton. Eaton pulls up. Shots on the way. No good. And there's Sainter down with a rebound. And now it gets it to Heltimus, and we, we have got the score. Coach Ed's going to take a timeout. Let's take a timeout with Coach Ed. 3.39 to go in the game. Tigers trailing by five. PG Telco is a proud sponsor of PGTigersOnline.com where you can find out all the very latest of what's going on with all the sports teams right here in Prairie Grove. But PG Telco is more, a lot more. They offer phone, internet, long distance services, and bundles making it all affordable. And that includes Direct TV. For your home or office, staying connected to the fast-paced world is as easy as calling PG Telco. Call 846-7200. That's 846-7200. PG Telco, built on community, focused on progress. Progress. Everett Chevrolet, proud sponsors of Prairie Grove High School Athletics and also proud of their huge inventory, both new or used. You'll find what you're looking for at Everett Chevrolet. Are you looking for the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size truck on the road? You're looking for the Chevy Silverado, and they've got them. How about the Chevy Camaro? How about the Chevy Corvette? It's all waiting for you at Everett Chevrolet. Family-owned and customer-friendly. Everett Chevrolet, I-49 at Elm Springs Road. Everett Chevrolet says, Go Tigers! Okay, we're back with you. 3.39 to go in the game. Tigers trailing 31-26 with the ball. Really need a basket this time down. Sainter turns, facing the basket. Got to do something with it, Dylan. Boy, Huntsville really tightened up the defense on their man-to-man, -man, really getting close, not giving a lot of room here. 
collapsing down a little bit on Sainer. And now here is Disney. He's guarded by Bohannon. Oh, and throws it away. Thirty-one twenty-six, under three minutes to go. And now Huntsville can be very patient with this five-point lead. And Eaton almost took the shot. Right now they can run the whole clock. We're going to have to do something here and get after them. They don't have to shoot right now, McKay. They're up by five. No, you don't need to shoot the ball or anything. And they're just. They're just going to move the ball around. They've already used a minute off the clock. They've already down to two minutes. They have used a full minute of the clock. And they're doing an excellent job of just hanging on to the ball. Under two minutes. And he pulls up shot, and it's good, and they take a seven-point lead. Down by seven, minute 40 to go. Tigers. Eltimus driving baseline, goes up and lays it up and in. And Coach Ed's going to take a timeout, 33-28, minute and a half to go. Huntsville really did a good job that time, McKay, of just being patient and then making a shot. Yeah, but they wasted like a minute. Yeah, they took a minute, almost a minute and a half off the clock after they got the ball. So the Tigers are going to have to really pressure on the defense, hope for a turnover. You got a foul. You got to hopefully foul very quickly or just. And what we're struggling with now is we only have three team fouls, and this is when fouls <laughs> would help you because we need, you know, they need to be in the one and one, and right now we'll have to foul quick. And often, 133 to go in the game. Tigers led at halftime, 21 to 16. And then trailed at the end of this quarter. And have trailed throughout the fourth quarter. Our next home game will be next Friday. Berryville comes to town. That's to be the next time we webcast. Tigers are doing full court pressure. Going to have to foul quick. Minute 20. They took 13 seconds off the clock. Another quick foul by the Tigers. That time they only got a second off the clock. That's good. You want to get quick fouls. Now we're up to five team fouls. Still got to foul two more times before they get to the line. And now they get it. You got to foul him. That time they ran seven seconds or six seconds off. So now we get the quick fouls, and now the next one they'll go to the free throw line, leading 33-28. They look confused. The Tigers, you got a foul, guys. What? I'm not sure why they're not fouling. They were just letting them run the clock off. Man, he's doing all he can, and they've. Run off. <laughs> They're just running the clock out. We, we can't allow that to happen right now. Here he's shooting a one and one. Tigers got to hope for a miss. Trailing by five. Gosfiner at the line, off the back of the rim, and Sainer gets the rebound. We got a chance, but we got to be quick.
Sainer with the ball, trying to get it in, throws it away. Now Gosford is going to go back to the line. Well, we got what we wanted that time, okay? We got the missed shot on the first part of the one and one and had the ball with a chance and then threw the ball away. He makes the first one. Now it's a six-point lead. Tigers really need him to miss this because this is going to make it a three possession game if he makes this. 39.7 seconds to go. Huntsville leading by six. Huntsville leading by seven. And the Eagles are going to take this time out. It's the first time out Huntsville's taken all night. 35-28. Tigers only seven points in the second half. Wow, that is amazing. Scoring 21 points in the first half, only seven in the second. Huntsville has scored 19 in the second half. The next ball game for Prairie Grove, we will not be webcasting it, but they do play at Gentry this Tuesday night. Tigers are one and one in the conference and hoping to pull off a miracle to go to two to one, but right now it's looking like they may be one and two. They kind of pick them up and going to put a little pressure on them, and that's good. And and they throw it away with 32.3 seconds. And good move that time by Coach Stafford. He applied the pressure instead of just letting them run the clock. And now foul by Heltimus. That's Heltimus third foul. It's a one and one. Next time they'll be in the double bonus. 35-28, Huntsville trying to stretch this lead out even more. Shot on the way, it's no good. Sainter comes down with a rebound. So he's missed a couple times, but well, we got to be quick. DJ seems to not be in a rush, and we got 20 seconds. Down to 17, you've got, guys, we have got to get a shot off. And he's gonna get fouled. Man, we're wasting so much time trying to get the ball down the floor with 20 seconds. Uh, Heltimus has got two shots. First one from Gavin's on the way, goes in. 35-29. makes the second one. 35-30 and nothing called. Heltimus kind of did a flop there and Sainer fouls and it's a hard foul. 5.4 seconds. Dillon now has four fouls and 5.4 seconds. Gosfner at the line. He's got two shots. First one's on the way. And he struggled a little bit down the stretch from the free throw line. He's made two of his last five. Second one's going to be on the way here. And this one goes in. And now here's Disney. Disney's going to pull up, shoots a three off the rim. Sainer, no good. And that's going to do it. The final score, Huntsville 36. Prairie Grove 30, so the Tigers fall to one and two in the conference. Huntsville remains undefeated in the conference. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. Again, our final score, 36-30. McKay, any final thoughts? Well, you know, it's a little bit better than last night. Yeah, they did. They played a little better than last night and kept this one close, just unable to pull it out down the stretch. Well, that's going to do it again. Our next webcast will be next Friday night when Berryville Bobcats come to town. I want to thank our, our IT man, Miles Eubanks, Christian Dowdy from the East Lab for helping out tonight.
thank McKay for sitting in for Derek Dugan. I'm Lynn Gregson. That's going to do it. We'll see you next Friday night.